Do you sometimes feel that your life is a little bit too hectic and you want to slow down? Six years ago, we left our busy life for this. Still busy, still hard, but 100% happy with our decision. And the decision we made three years ago to start our YouTube channel has been the best decision we've made. Because even though sometimes it is tough, we love sharing this journey with you guys. We've made many mistakes along the way, and it's all the more rewarding when we actually get things right. <laughs> Living this way makes you slow down whether you like it or not because number one you have to work with the seasons When it's raining you can't work if it's too hot you can't work these things slow you down when you live outdoors And you spend a lot of time with your animals you spend a lot of time watching nature and Respecting nature and that is what I like sharing with you most of all our quiet times This life gives us time to just chill and really enjoy every single moment we have on this planet This episode is going to be a tiny bit different because I'm going to take you on a little bit of a Beatles journey going from A to wherever he ends up anyway and his determination to get a little bit of poo quite a long way and he spent quite a few hours doing it. Wow, that's pretty good, buddy. He only has one thing on his mind, to get that poo home. Where are you taking it? I thought I would share it with you guys because I absolutely loved watching it. Luke finally finishes the groundwork of the outdoor gazebo. And he's so happy that we can move on to the fun stage, as he calls it, of putting up the columns. And some lovely friends of ours help us out with this problem we are having with the goats. That's a good tactic. Huh? You're doing a good job. Milking Susie. What do you do girls want? Hmm? Wow, almost two litres, Susie. And now it's Daisy's turn. Daisy, Daisy. No, good morning, Mummy. He's waiting here till I milk Daisy, hey Timmy, and then he will have the milky. Where do you want this? Show me. In there, okay. Are you ready, Daisy? One, two. Nice. I love this machine. It was a little bit broken and they've just fixed it, but it saves me so much time. While I wait, let me go and see what the beetle is up to. Is your home under there? Or is this a tactic to move it? Wow. Oh, she's almost done. Perfect. This is very important, Daisy, so you don't get mastitis again. Before I take the goats on their morning walk, I go upstairs with the milk. Look, we make cheese, we make it every two days, and he's gonna make ice cream today. And today I have to be ready from the morning walk early because we're going somewhere special. We're going to go to Curacao and Yuan's place, 
and they're going to give us something that might be hay for the goats because we're having a little bit of problem this this whole month actually we ran out of hay and we can't find it to buy it anywhere and the guy we normally buy it from he's gonna have it at the end of June maybe beginning of July so the goats need hay All our electric needs comes from our solar panels and if the sun isn't shining for many many days in a row we do have to be a little bit more careful. Now because it rained for many days in a row Lou didn't have to use the Bluetti for watering the garden which he normally uses it for and thanks to Bluetti thank you a huge big thank you because they sent us two massive solar panels to hook up to our Bluetti. Before we we're taking it from the big solar panels but that's not ideal because it's taking away power from our main system. So now it has its own system. So instead of using the Bluetti for the watering, like it does every day when it's hot and sunny, we use it to keep our big outdoor freezer on all night because we are now making ice cream from our goat's milk and it is super delicious. the two sausages where they were sitting. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Chili. <laughs> Hi Mags. You're doing good. We're gonna make ice cream. Mm? And you can have the way of the cheese. You want the way? So even though it's been raining for the last week, we're still managing to make ice cream because we have the Bluetti backup system. Ooh, here the magic happens, eh? Yep. It all comes together. I've never seen you do this. No? No. Put it together and all that. Normally I'm out with the animals. Are we ready to rumble? Um. <laughs> okay, now we leave it for 20 25 minutes. Yeah? yeah. Wow. Who gets to lick that look? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Goes. Come, let's go walkies. You're coming as well. Okay, Sunny's coming walkies with us apparently.
<laughs> this goes like a little bit. This is a deep there, Maggie. This off grid life is definitely not an easy path that we chose. It does make us super happy, but it's far from easy. It's not because it's the off grid life, it's because we are actually YouTubers living the off grid life, and this is where our money comes from. And for a small YouTube channel, it can be a little bit trying sometimes. The animals really make me happy, they make my day every day, but then again, we have a lot of problems and struggles because of them. Because we are YouTubers, our wages are up and down all the time. So Luca and I have sat down and had serious talks about which animals we will have to get rid of if we can't afford to feed them. This is the reality. If you don't make enough to feed your animals, you can't keep them. Anyway, so basically we, we did have a chat about it. We decided to keep them for now. I do go into this more in depth on our Patreon. So if you want to support us and our animals over there, go ahead. The link is in the description below. But in saying that, this month was a good one. So we're on a high and we think we can do this. And thank you so much, Eileen, for giving us such a huge um, super thanks. We really appreciate it and it really helped us out. As much as I love the sun and the beautiful weather, I also love the rain even more because we don't get much of it in Portugal. And we were really, really worried this year because the heat waves came way too early. And yeah, we were just worried that we're not gonna have enough water to feed our plants till the end of summer and other things. But thank you very much, Sky and Mother Nature, because she sent us a bunch of rain these last two weeks. And the land is looking amazing once again, whereas a couple of weeks ago it was looking already pretty, pretty dry. Now the rain is really good for our land, for our animals, for our plants. You know what it's not good for though? For us over there. <laughs> of course you miss the blue skies and the sun, especially when you live off grid, because you need the power to power everything. Because we are 100% solar, so if we don't have the sun, then we don't have the power. So it can get a tiny bit frustrating, especially when you have big jobs to do and you need electricity. But this year we're really prepared for these rainy, cloudy days. And thanks to Blue Water, Luke could use his power hungry tools to continue the groundwork on the outdoor kitchen.
<laughs> he did that to me this morning, so a bit of payback. But I think he was expecting it. Wow, you've gone hard. Wow. Awesome, looking good, eh? Yeah, maybe that's a plan, eh? Uh, you just rotate, eh? Yeah, I think it's I better. I rest now, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so by eye, it looks like it's finally level, ground zero at last. I'm so over ground works. So I just called Deck so he can show me how to check it with the water level, just to see so it's pretty much level. We don't have to get anal about it and, you know, plus minus five centimeters for now is fine. But I'm really looking forward to start working with the trees at last after 10, 11 months. <laughs> Isn't that looking amazing? And he did get a little bit fed up towards the end because it is very boring and very, very hard work. And it seems to be a never ending task. Man, I hate groundworks. <laughs> but now the groundwork is done and the fun can begin. So if you want to see the rest of this build, it might take a while. You make sure you subscribe to our channel because you will miss it. This Bluetti system, I have said it before, I will say it again. It's been a life changer. If you are looking for some backup power, then Bluetti is the way to go. So to get your very own AC300 or B300 with these beautiful 420 watt panels, I am going to leave a link in the description below. If you want to check out the video where we first got it and reviewed it, then the link is there too. And a huge thank you once again, Bluetti, for sponsoring this video. Oh my goodness, you know where we're going today? Today, we're going to go up, put on our seatbelt, and we're going to go to Frankie's house. <laughs> Molly, you want to go and see Frankie? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I can check on the beetle now. It's been at, at least four hours, I think. So since I first saw him walking around with that little bit of poo. <laughs> let's see if the chickens got him. That's the thing. Come, let's see. Let's go check on the beetle. Chuckies, have you been in touch with the beetle? I will show you where our little friend, the beetle, ended up. I thought he was going to go to a hole and share his poo with his family. What did you guys think? He found a nice shady spot and got stuck into it. Oh yeah, you're eating it. <laughs> okay, now we know where you are. I thought that was hilarious. Anyway, what, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the little bug's journey too. You want to go in the car, put on your seat to bed and we go and see Frankie? Huh, with daddy? <laughs> While we are here, I am not showing you too much of their homestead because I would like you guys to go and check it out for yourself. The link is in the description below. I think, I think it looks good. It's not like ours because it's got yeah. other stuff in it. These yellow flowers, these cool ones. Those ones they like, those yeah. flowers. Do you want to take a look? For Molly. 
Can you just for a second? Yep, I can. I can to talk to the camera and tell them, Hi, I'm Frankie. Back. Can I be on your channel for today? Sure. <laughs> You're a good girl. Because I heard that Diogo's stealing the limelight yeah, for Frankie. Yeah. And it's not fair because it's your channel. It's Frankie's channel. It's your name on it, not his. I think if Frankie was to get a photo. Bye, Carissa. Thanks Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Clap again. Full of hay. What are you doing? Huh? We just got home. And Molly's really happy, she had such a good time. I'm gonna go and eat the ice cream, it's frozen. Okay, <laughs> let me come and try it before I take these guys out. Oh, look at Tiny too. He's with the piggies. Hi guys, did you miss us? How oh, sweet home, we had such a good time with Carissa and Yuan. Now we see if the goats like their hay. Fingers crossed. Ooh, yeah, wow! Yummy. What a look! It's creamy. The last time we made it came a bit icy. This one is creamy. Mm. So I put that yogurt. Nice. Mm, a bit more fat. Because goat's milk is lower fat, eh? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. But I'll cook the strawberries into a more of a coolie next time because they're slightly icy. Yum, let's mm. see. Wow! Strawberry cheesecake. Yummy. Okay, how long is this gonna last? I hope till I get back. This is dangerous. Okay, let's take one bag with us of this delicious stuff. They're gonna love it. Hi girls, you want to go walkies? You want to go walkies? Come, let's go. Come, let's go. Come, let's go, girls. Susie, look what I have for Susie. Look what I have for Susie. You want to taste this? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Yummy! Hi Maggie! Hi Maggie! Are you enjoying your pod full of water? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I think that was a super success with the hay. And thank you so much Carissa and you and for even suggesting it. Because even though we are skeptical at first, thank you. It has been such an amazing week. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to leave a comment because it helps us out immensely. And we ended the week saying goodbye to Dirk. It's crazy how time flew when he was here. And thank you very much, Dirk, for all you have done for us. But we will miss you and we'll see you again next year. Dirk's last days were made even more special because we added some more special people into the mix. And if you want to check out Nick and Andrea's channel, it's in the description below. Cooked on a Sunday, but it would still be ready to still be there as a meal on a Friday. And it gets better for other days. Oh, Got everything. Yeah. Yeah, beer, wine. Everything gets the it's like a stew or yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend I'm not here now. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I love the little hands of these things. Because that's what I. That's my problem. Uh, ignore the camera. <laughs> <laughs> ignore it, Luke. <laughs> Thank you.
Do you want to go up a tree? Go. This one's too too high. Go up the other one. Molly wants to go up a tree. Hey. Go, go up the, the other tree. Come. Come. Go up the tree. Wow. Slowly, Aja baby. Let Molly go up first. Wow, Molly. Come. Come down now and Hacha baby wants to go up. Clever girl! <laughs> Hacha's like, I want to go up, Molly. Wow, look at Molly up the tree. Clever girl. <laughs>